I'm standing here in front of a 2021 Tesla Model 3 dual motor long range version. Now this is my personal car. Typically when you see me do these reviews, it's of media loans. This is my own car. About to do the 70 mile an hour highway range test on the new refreshed Tesla Model 3. You may remember last year I did the 70 mile an hour range test with a 2019 Tesla Model 3, which was my vehicle at the time. We were able to go 289 miles on that range test. Pretty good for the car considering that it had a combined EPA range rating of 310 miles when I got it. I'm going to head over to a Tesla supercharger now, fully charge the car up to 100%, get the battery nice and warm, hop out onto the New Jersey Turnpike, the same route that we do all the range tests on. I repeat, the exact same driving route every time we do these range tests. Temperature is fantastic today. It's about 70 degrees. It's supposed to get up to about 80, so perfect range weather. The wind, we've got a little bit of wind, seven, eight miles an hour coming out of the uh, west. I'm gonna check that when we start the range test, which isn't gonna happen for about an hour because I have to get this over to the supercharger, get it back to 100%, and then jump out on the turnpike. We're gonna check back with you when we're at the supercharger, just talk a little bit about the details of this range test. But for now, don't forget, please click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge. All right, we're here at the Tesla Supercharger, topping off to 100% before we hop out onto the turnpike and start the range test. But I just want to go over a couple things first. Um, first of all, I'm going to be setting the autopilot to 71 miles an hour because the Tesla's speedometer is slightly fast. I've checked it with GPS on a couple of occasions, and when I'm locked in at 70 miles an hour according to the car, the GPS says we're going 69 miles an hour. So I'm gonna be setting that at 71 miles an hour. We've set all the tires to the factory specified 42 pounds per square inch this morning when they were cold. Uh, we're gonna be driving in chill mode. We usually put the cars in uh, like an eco mode or whatever the uh, most efficient driving mode is in the case of the Model 3, that's gonna be chill mode. Um, the uh, air conditioning is going to be on. We're going to have it set at 68 degrees and on fan setting number two. Uh, I need some air conditioning today because it's pretty hot. It's now up to 76 degrees and uh, it's going to get to the low 80s. So, um, you know, I'm not going to sit in the car for five hours and just sweat my butt off so I can get an extra four or five miles. If, uh, you know, you watch this video and then you say, well, without AC, it probably could have went a little further. Well, you're probably right. You could add that on if you want to, but I'm putting the air conditioning on because it's hot today. Um, okay, one last thing. Uh, I want to talk about the EPA range. I talked about a little of that earlier. So this car has a combined EPA range rating of 353 miles per charge. Um, that's combined city and highway. However, the official EPA highway range rating came in at 333.8 miles. And this is a 70 mile an hour highway range test. So that might really be the goal, not might, that actually is the goal, the highway range, not the combined range rating. Uh, but we all know that Tesla also leaves a big buffer at the bottom end of the car where you can drive pretty far past zero. I'm not gonna test that out too much. When we get to zero, I'm gonna drive a little bit further, but um, I'm not gonna get stuck out on the turnpike and need a tow. I've gotta kinda time this range test so that I'm reaching zero, maybe a mile or two um, before I can get to the Tesla supercharger and then charge this puppy up. So zero kind of ends the range test for us. If you wanna add on some miles after that, because I, I know some other news agencies have said, oh, you could drive much further than zero on the Model 3, then that's fine. But our range test is gonna be from 100% down to zero, maybe a little bit further than that. We'll see how far we go. My goal is to get as close to the EPA highway range rating as we can. All right, now heading out onto the turnpike, we're gonna check in when the battery's at 75% charged, then when it's at 50%, then when it's at 25%, and then we'll do the wrap up once we're complete. All right. We are at 75% state of charge, so we've gone 25% of the trip. And we have traveled 75 miles. That puts us on course for a 300 mile finish. Not quite as good as I was hoping, but we're still early on. Things can change. 
I'm going to check back at 50% and see where we're at. Uh, the only things I will note is that I mentioned earlier about the wind and that hasn't gotten any better. Matter of fact, it's a little worse. We're seeing winds about 10 miles an hour coming from the west. That's not great. That's definitely affecting our range a little. Additionally, it's up to 86 degrees now. Uh, so I've had to tick the uh, air conditioning fan speed up to number three. I had planned on using it on speed two. Wasn't quite enough and I was a little hot in here. So we're gonna have to monitor that. So I'm sure that's making some uh, effect on the range. But you know, the, the Model 3 does have a very efficient heating and cooling system. So it shouldn't really take that many miles away, but it's something that you definitely have to consider. Check back when we're halfway there. So we just passed the 50% mark. We're at 50% state of charge and we've gone 148 miles. We've lost just a touch. We were on pace for 300 miles. Now we're on pace for uh, 296, let's say, but that can change. And we've seen that on these um, uh, range tests many times, uh, but you know, it's not looking like we were gonna get uh, the 320, 330 like I had hoped. Uh, the Model 3 we tested last year, my 2019, we finished up with 289 miles, and that was 310 combined EPA range rating. I don't have the highway range rating for that um, in uh, 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 on hand right now, but I'm going to look it up. Uh, so let's see. We're going to keep going. We're going to check in when we're at 25% state of charge, and uh, hopefully we're still on track for about 300 miles. All right, so we're at the 25% state of charge point. We've driven three quarters of the way and we hit 230 miles driven. We had a good 25% chunk there. We actually made up and are now projecting to uh, finish up with over 300 miles of range, which is pretty good. The only negative that I can think of is uh, we had to change course. As I was coming up the New Jersey Turnpike, I noticed there was like a seven mile backup on the southbound side where cars were just sitting there. So that does not work for 70 mile an hour range tests. So um, I've, I've changed my route slightly. I, matter of fact, just got on Route 80. I took the Turnpike up to Route 80, but I'm able to keep maintain the speed the whole time. I'm gonna take 80 to Route 287 and then take that down to finish up at the supercharger. So shouldn't affect uh, the speed. Uh, we should be able to complete this at 70 miles an hour. I was able to do three quarters of the range test on the New Jersey Turnpike. The final 25% is gonna be done on Route 80 and Route 287. But I'm able to hold 70 miles an hour, which is good right now. Uh, hopefully that'll be the case the rest of the way. Um, it should be, I know these roads pretty well. I don't think I'll have a problem this time of day. Uh, the temperature dropped down now a little bit. We're down uh, closer to uh, 82 degrees. It was up to 86 degrees for a while. Um, and I think what made that last leg more efficient was we had the wind. Now the wind's coming in at the west, but it was coming in at an angle from the west. And I think the early parts of the drive, it was uh, more of like a, coming in from the side of the vehicle. So it was kind of like a headwind. Uh, and that wasn't the case when we turned around and headed the other way on the turnpike, it was pushing us a little bit. So wind has a big effect on EV range and miles per gallon in gas cars, especially at highway speeds. We, we had a nine to 10 mile an hour wind hitting us and you know that that makes a big difference. Uh, so uh, we're going to check in when we are done. Uh, right now we're averaging uh, 234 watt hour per mile, which is actually exactly what the efficiency rating was in my range test on my 2019 Model 3 uh, last year. So um, pretty consistent with the efficiency from my last car. Uh, let's see how much further we go. We did 200. And 89, I think 0.5 miles with that. So around 290 miles. Looks like we're gonna beat it with the 2021 by a decent amount. Uh, but anything can happen in this last leg. Uh, check back in when we're done. All right, well, we're here at the supercharger and we made it. 
It was a little shaky there at the end because we hit a 0% state of charge when we still had about five miles to go. Now, I had a little confidence because um, recently there's been some other news outlets that have seen, shown that Teslas can drive a lot further, particularly the Model 3. Um, can drive a lot further after it hits zero uh, because Tesla allows a large buffer at the lower end. Uh, but still, that's, you know, five miles at 70 miles an hour is, uh, you know, uh, gave, gave me cause for concern. But we made it here without a problem. So when the uh, state of charge hit zero, we had covered 305 miles. So that gives us a total of 310 miles because I drove about five miles, a little more than five miles after it hit zero. And we're here, we made it. Our average consumption was uh, 234 watt hours per mile, which is exactly the consumption that my 2019 Model 3 had when I did this same trip, which ended up with, I think, 289.5 miles, somewhere around there. I think we just rounded it up to 290 because it was close. Uh, and in that test, uh, just as I pulled into the supercharger, the state of charge at zero. So this time I drove five miles further. So if you want to give the last test that those five miles also, that would be looking at around 295. We still beat it by 15 miles. So good showing for the Model 3. Uh, it's not a good showing when you compare it to the EPA range rating, uh, which is the combined range rating is 353 miles, but we don't usually use that as the metric because that's the combined rating. We look at the highway EPA rate. The highway EPA isn't at a constant 70 miles an hour. It's different, but I mean, there'd be those that would argue that 70 miles an hour is slow for highway driving. So um, you certainly wouldn't go further than 310 miles if you were going faster than 70 miles an hour. Um, so that's what we finished up at 310. It's on one hand, it's the longest uh, range we've ever tested. Uh, myself or Kyle for Inside EVs, we do these range tests. It beat the uh, uh, the 2021 Porsche Taycan rear wheel drive. That's the base Taycan with the Performance Plus battery pack. That's 93 plus kilowatt hours. Kyle did that range test and came up with 293 miles. That was the longest um, range that we've tested up until right now on these 70 mile an hour highway range tests. Now, of course, we haven't done this with the Model S. We're waiting for the new refreshed Model S to come out, and hopefully one of us will get a hold of those. As a matter of fact, I'm sure one of us will get one, borrow one from somebody, and, uh, and be able to do this range test, and that will most likely be the new Range King. Maybe until we get the Lucid Air sedan to do, uh, that might be beat the Model S, we don't know. But for now, 310 miles is the longest we've driven any of the cars on our 70 mile an hour highway range tests. The 2021 Tesla Model 3, a dual motor long range, is our range king. We haven't done the rear wheel drive version. Uh, if one of the uh, um, followers out there has one of those and would like to loan it to me here in New Jersey to do the 70 mile an hour range test, I'd be more than happy to borrow it and do that because that most likely will do a little bit better than this. Uh, but for now, uh, that's what we have and 310 miles is pretty good. Um, I'd call it excellent. Uh, the only way that you can say it's not excellent is, is if you compare it to what the range ratings are. Um, now this, uh, the, the 234 watt hour per mile translates to uh, 4. I think 27 uh, miles per kilowatt hour uh, right in that range there, which is incredibly efficient. It's the most efficient uh, car that we've tested. I, I, I mentioned earlier, we, I recently did the Mustang Mach-E. Now that's a, an SUV crossover. Uh, so that wouldn't get as, as good efficiency as a, a sedan like this, a low slung sedan. But um, to, just to compare it, I averaged on the same course 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. So nearly a mile per kilowatt hour more, which is a lot with electric vehicles. So uh, Tesla has the secret sauce, but so does Hyundai. Hyundai makes really efficient cars, but Tesla really nails it with efficiency on their cars. And it's why they get uh, the most out of the battery packs. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the things that Tesla does so well. They make really efficient cars and they just keep making them more efficient. They do updates to squeeze out a couple more miles, a couple more miles, a couple more miles. And all of a sudden it's got 30 more miles than, 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 it, than it did a year or two ago. Um, the other OEMs, the legacy OEMs rarely do that. And uh, it's part of the reason why Tesla is, is you know, so um, 
loved and why they're, they're selling the major lion's share of electric vehicles are Teslas. Another reason is what's right behind me here, the supercharger network. Um, you know, the other networks are Electrify America and so forth are, 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 are gaining and, and, they're, and they're doing well. But nothing is like the Tesla supercharged network. It's, it's unparalleled and uh, it's an incredible advantage for Tesla owners. And it's part of why Tesla sells so many cars. All right, that's it for our uh, 70 mile an hour highway range test for the 2021 Tesla Model 3 dual motor long range. We finish up with 310 miles and an efficiency of 234 watt hours per mile. Super showing. Don't forget, click that subscribe button, tap the notification bell. So you don't miss any upcoming range tests, EV reviews, charger reviews, all that stuff that I do here on State of Charge. Thanks for watching.